So now I've got that octopus file open in Photoshop. You'll see the layers here are all the same as when we had the file open in Procreate. So again, the advantage of not image tracing this just as a flattened file is, you know, if we want to move this bottle around or replace this bottle with something else, we'll have everything separated out and it's a lot easier to work with if we can bring it into Illustrator as separate layers. So I'll show you how to do a couple layers here just to give you an idea of how to bring this into Illustrator. So essentially the process is you have everything in a separate color layer. So let's turn off all layers except for the top one here. This is the suction cups. If I turn off my background, you'll see this is just red. There's no white in there. And this is, you know, a really clean layer. So what we can do here is we could do color overlay, layer, layer style, color overlay, and just turn that to black. And what we want to do here is command or control A and then command or control shift C. Control is on a PC, commands on a Mac. So let's command shift C to copy merged. So when you copy merged, it's going to copy this top layer as well as the bottom layer in a flattened layer. So command shift C, let's go into Adobe Illustrator. We don't really need to worry too much about the size of this Illustrator document because we're turning everything to vector. So let's just go command or control V to paste it in. You'll see there's the suction cups. Now let's go to back to the Photoshop file. And so the next layer down, I have some texture. Now you'll notice this texture, if you can see it on your screen, there's a really light gray and then there's kind of a medium gray. We want to get that everything to black. So what we can do here is let's, again, let's copy merged, command or control shift C. And instead of pasting this into Illustrator, we're just going to paste it right back into the Photoshop file. So let's go command or control V. And if I turn off all the layers, you can see it's just this one single flattened layer. But what we want to do here is do a threshold. A threshold will turn everything to just black and white, no grayscale. So let's go image adjustments threshold. And you'll see everything was too light, so it's turned it to white. But if I move this slider over, that stuff that was a medium gray, all of a sudden now it's black. And if we move the slider all the way over, now it gets all of that texture to just black and white. Let's click OK. Um, the other thing here is if I zoom in, you'll see there's some tiny little speckles. Now, this wouldn't really be a problem, but if you just want to kind of clean your image up a little bit, what you can do is let's add just a tiny bit of blur to this. So let's go filter blur, Gaussian blur, 17.6 is way too much. So just blur it out enough. Let's try like 1.7 pixels. And then now let's do another threshold. So image adjustments threshold forces it back to 100% black and white. And you'll see a lot of those little speckles have now disappeared. So if we move our slider around, they come back, they kind of thicken up. But I'm just going to leave it there right around 138. And now we want to just copy this, Command or Control C, and let's paste it into that Illustrator file. Now, I haven't moved anything in this Illustrator file. So when I paste this next layer in, it's going to paste exactly on top of the suction cups. So let's go Command A and then Command or Control Shift C again, copy merged, and then go back into Illustrator. Now I haven't moved anything on this artboard. So if I paste in the next layer, it's just gonna paste right on top of this one, which is, is really nice. You know, if you go in there and scale something and then paste in the next layer, it's not gonna be matched up. So if we go Command or Control V, it'll paste it right in that right spot. So let's go back into Photoshop and the next layer down is the octopus. Now you'll see the octopus when I turn on the background white is I've actually inadvertently 
painted a little bit of tan in there. So again, we want to force this to just 100% black and white. So let's select all, Command or Control Shift C again to copy merged. And again, let's paste this back into the Photoshop file. So now if I turn off all the layers, you'll see it's just this flattened layer by itself. And you'll see that tan right there. If I go image adjustments threshold, it turns it just to 100% black and white. So we can go Command or Control A to select all. And because this layer is flattened, we can just do a Command or Control C to copy. And let's go back into Illustrator and go Command or Control V. Now, so we have these three different layers and what we wanna do here is, since this is black and white, Illustrator does a really good job just using the default settings. So you can just click Image Trace and then you wanna click Expand to expand that. It's now Vector, but what we have here is this is black and white. So we just want the black part of it. So let's use our white arrow tool. This is our direct selection tool that'll allow us to just select separate parts of the image. So we wanna use that direct selection tool to select some of the white and then select same fill color and hit delete. So if I move this octopus out of the way, you'll see the next layer below that is a texture. So let's uh, move the octopus back where he was, but just send him to the back there. And I'm gonna hit Command or Control 2 to lock that layer. And now let's select this texture layer again, do image trace, then expand, double click to isolate this, use your white arrow tool, select some of the white, select same fill color, hit delete. So now we have the texture, we have this raster layer of the suction cups below that and the octopus below that. Let's send this texture all the way to the back, lock it, Command or Control 2. And this last layer I'm gonna show you here is the suction cups and we do the exact same thing again. Expand, double click to isolate, select some of the white, select same fill color, hit delete. And now you can see we have everything in a separate layer. So let's, uh, let's unlock everything. Object, unlock all. So let's send our octopus to the back here and if we select some of that texture, we can assign it, say, like a 50% gray. Now you'll see that texture is in there. And we can assign the suction cups a red color. So what you want to do here is you want to go through the rest of the file and do this with all the layers. And let me show you how the image ended up. So this is how it ended up. And I've recolored it, added in some type. And if I turn off these octopus layers, you'll see that bottle is just by itself. So we could use the bottle in a different graphic or we could turn the bottle off and you know put something back in there that the octopus is holding. So it makes it a lot easier. It makes it easy to go back in and edit things. And if you send this file to a screen printer, they'll be happy with you because it's gonna make it really easy to do color separations. So that is my method for turning a layered Procreate or Photoshop file into a vector Illustrator file. Also make sure to subscribe on YouTube or follow me on Vimeo, Instagram, or Facebook. Thanks for watching.